So this video looks at background subtraction and in background subtraction you have a background model and then you take that away from the video feed. You just subtract it and anything that's within a threshold um, after the subtraction gets counted as background. The obvious way to do this is to just have an empty frame at the beginning and you subtract that from all subsequent frames. That's what we're seeing here. Um, that works okay but the threshold makes it really sensitive. So here again we have a background model this one is just a single frame which is empty and then when we subtract that from all subsequent frames and take the absolute difference and count differences greater than a particular threshold as being motion we get a fairly good background subtraction but you need an empty frame so you can have adaptive models which use a moving average moving average background subtraction which is what you see here again depends on how quickly you update the average this is the background model and you can see that as things are still they become part of the background model um, you can see that more clearly when you look at the effect of the subtraction so as the, the arm becomes still it disappears into the background um, again this is a parameter so if you take a longer moving average the next one here uses 100 frames as a moving average you'll find that actually it works quite well and the background is subtracted reasonably okay again you've got a problem of things getting absorbed into the background too quickly at certain times and you've got the problem of motion effects but it's not that bad noise is problematic um, you'll find that pixel noise is always problematic with background subtraction and more advanced techniques like mixture of Gaussian stuff do their best to try and get around that but that's something for the next video Anyway, this is moving average background subtraction and you can see it gives you a fairly good result.